I started off just sending little bait things like this is your face, link is to a random YouTube video don't bother, which then routed them to blaze.com, an IP logger. I was looking for shill bases. What I found is shitty and confusing. So, shills all route their IPs through Amazon Web Services, which is a sort of server farm, so that even if they are tracked, they won't be found, and so that they can have multiple accounts all linked to a single device again without raising suspicion. Slimy, oily, and par for the course when you think of shills. Here's where things get weird. So, I noticed that when I was wrong and had contacted a real person, it took them a humanish amount of time to click the link, maybe 5, 10 minutes. When you send the link to a shill though, the response is immediate, I'm talking like in the time it takes you to hit send on the bait message, and click over to refresh the IP logger page, they had already clicked. This happens every single time. Think about what that means for a bit. I thought, maybe it's just logging a random IP every time you send a link, so to test that, I made a handful of vaults, and sent the link to each of them. I sent the link to my friends in real life, telling them what I was doing. Their legit IPs came through no problem. So, what does that mean? Well, I thought, it might be bots, then, but they seem so real, I have never, ever, not even once been in an argument and thought this is a robot, but evidence had led me to the question of whether or not bots might be more prevalent than we know. To test it, I sent a few shills messages that said, the link in the body of this message will give me your IP, on the assumption that a piece of their code is check links for context or something. They still clicked with the same speed and responded differently each time with things like, you don't have my IP you little bitch, or, nice try, shill. Things like that. Seemingly baiting me into an organic seeming conversation. You would not believe how often this happens. We're talking major threads, the top three posters, each of them shills or at the least people who will click on a phishing link when you tell them to. Entire mod teams, all of whom responded but one individual, who said what the fuck. And that was it. I cannot come up with a theory that takes into account all of those factors other than to say that, I think, a good portion of shills are not real people. And that you find shills at the top of many, many of the threads that make it to the front page. Maybe they have real people that take over when a conversation can't be completed by script, I dunno, but the fact remains, you can tell a shill that a link will collect their IP, and they will still click it. Wanna test it out, maybe see the information that I'm referencing? That is the link that shows all the tracked IPs, it won't track you, but it has the link to track others on the page. In it, you'll find a handful of my targets from today and yesterday. I'll only link that one, because it's entirely filled with shill IPs, I'm getting good, while the other, more lengthy pages also contain the IPs of people I don't want to just put on blast for being idiots. Also on that page is a tracker URL. If you give it out to shills, and they click on it, then you have their IP. Try it out. See for yourself.